Hello, Rene Rodriguez here with Electrosonics, bringing you the first in a series of instructional videos designed to help you get the most out of your wireless system. In this video, we will show you how to find clear operating frequencies and avoid interference using the scanning function in an LR receiver. Interference can reduce the maximum operating range of any wireless system and cause problems such as dropouts, even at very short distances. While we will be using the LR receiver for this particular demonstration, the scanning function is similar in most of our receivers. Let's get started. Wireless microphones operate alongside television broadcasts in the lower part of the UHF spectrum. The television broadcasts are much more powerful than a wireless microphone and as such must be avoided. Older Electrosonics products tuned across a 25.6 MHz frequency range called a block. With the introduction of the L series, new products now tune across a 75 MHz frequency range covering three blocks. These are referred to as bands. Compatibility with legacy models continue in the L series and other new wireless products, so some of the displays include these blocks as options for scanning and operation. This is a graphical view of a scan of the B1 band using a software-based spectrum analyzer. The strong signals shown in yellow are active television broadcasts. What we are looking for are the gaps in between the strong signals where there is little to no RF activity. This is where we will find clear operating frequencies. The LR receiver includes a spectrum scanning function that gives you a graphical view across its tuning range in a similar fashion. To scan the spectrum manually, press the menu button and navigate to RF scan in the menu. Press the menu button to start the scan. The scan will begin at the frequency currently set on the receiver. RF signals that are present will be displayed as the cursor progresses. The scan will continue and wrap around repeatedly to accumulate additional signals detected until it is stopped by pressing the menu button again. Once stopped, the cursor can be moved using the up and down arrow buttons. Press the menu button to zoom in for a closer view. In the zoom view, the cursor remains in the middle of the screen and the background scrolls. You can hold the menu button in and then use the arrow buttons to scroll in fine increments up or down. Adjust the cursor to an area with no RF signals present. When you have scrolled to a clear location in the spectrum, press the back button to enter the keep screen. Then press the menu button to save the new frequency and return to the main window. Smart Tune is another way to find clear frequencies. This feature allows you to scan the entire tuning range of the receiver or only individual blocks. The scan progresses in the same manner as in manual scanning, except that the RF signals appear a bit larger on the screen. When the scan is completed, the newly found frequency will be automatically set on the receiver and a screen will appear with the option of transferring the settings to the appropriate transmitter using the infrared ports. The IR tuning port feature is currently only available on the LT, LMB, HMA, HHA, and SSM series transmitters. To tune the transmitter, place the two IR ports close to and facing each other. Press the up button on the receiver and observe the LCD on the transmitter. The IR sync screen on the receiver will persist to allow the settings to be sent repeatedly until they are successfully received by the transmitter. When the signals have successfully been received, the transmitter LCD will display the OK message. Press the back button once to display the new frequency and again to return to the main window.
As we have shown, you can easily and reliably find clear operating frequencies with an LR receiver using either the manual scan or the automated smart tune feature. If you are using several wireless systems at once, it is best to run multiple scans. Perform the scan on your first system, set up the accompanying transmitter, and leave it turned on. The scan data from the second system will include the signal from this first transmitter. Once the scan is complete on your second system, turn on the accompanying transmitter and leave it turned on. Continue in this manner for the remaining systems. If you are running more than four or five wireless systems together, uh, frequency coordination may be necessary. If that's the case, consult with an expert dealer and or contact the factory directly. I'm Renee with Electrosonics. Thank you for watching.